Hi, hi, dear students. Uh, hi, uh, hello, everyone. I am uh, honored to you know introduce you, Dr. Uh, Supriya D K. She has scored All India rank seventy four. She is from uh, S N Medical College, Bagalkot, and uh, she did. Uh, she is a student, proud student of Dams Ubli Center. Uh, let's uh, 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 talk to her and uh, get to know how did she prepare for this. Congratulations, Dr. Supriya. How do you feel today? Thank you so much, sir. Good evening, sir. Uh, actually, I'm very happy, but uh, the entire credit goes to dams because I didn't follow any other uh, source of material, basically uh, throughout my preparation. So I would like to thank uh, Sandeep sir uh, who uh, gave us opportunity. Like uh, they started dams in Hubli. We were the first batch. Uh, I'm actually uh, very happy to say that. Uh, then uh, thanks to uh, Sumer uh, Sethi sir uh, Deepthi ma'am uh, who has helped us a lot and all the lecturers actually. Okay, so let's uh, just uh, dwell into your uh, little bit of how did you prepare in because you have got a very excellent rank. Seventy four is a two digit rank, which is you know uh, absolutely one of the uh, you know very good, very very good rank I would say. So let's dwell. How did you start your preparation and you know uh, right from when did you start your preparation uh, for specifically for NEET PG? Truly speaking, I did not uh, study anything in internship. <laughs> I started my preparation after completion of my internship. I joined uh, Dams Hubli uh, live uh, regular uh, live class. Uh, since one year, uh, I'm uh, I have prepared for this uh, internship. Uh, so since you said you did not, uh, you know, uh, prepare mm -hmm. in internship, so we'll not get into that. So mm -hmm. let us talk about post internship only. How did you prepare? Yes, like once you joined, what did you do? What 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 went through all those mm -hmm. things? What was the procedure that you followed? Yes. Uh, after joining, like uh, uh, every week, uh, like uh, a sub, uh, there was a live class of uh, one subject around two to three days. Then uh, by next week, uh, when the other faculty would come, I would complete that subject, uh, entire reading, uh, first reading of that subject uh, with uh, Dam's uh, question back. Then um, uh, sometimes like uh, for very important subject, I would give tests also. Uh, uh, this went up to November, sir, where, where all the uh, uh, subjects were completed by November mid, like post I N I uh, November or uh, that. Then uh, till December, I completed all my uh, which are all were uh, pending uh, subjects or something. Little bit will be remaining for he and he subjects uh, that I completed by uh, till end of the December. Then January again, I attended the live rapid revision uh, uh, online classes uh, in the times which was uh, which were including this course only. This went up to February. Then again, I uh, in March um, I attended uh, dance DVD. Uh, live in the Bangalore. Uh, actually, this was a very um, this gave a very hike in my uh, GT scores as well. Like around eighteen to twenty uh, scores uh, were uh, raised after uh, this uh, attending DVT. DVT, okay. Yes, sir. Okay, so then what about your uh, grand test, etc.? How did you give? Uh, you know, uh, what was your frequency of grand tests, etc.? I started like after I and I November I and I, uh, like in November and all. Uh, since um, starting, I used to give like twenty days, twenty five days. Then I reduced like fifteen days, ten days, one week. Okay, and that, that's good. So, uh, how was your scores in the beginning, November, and then you know, did it? How did it improve gradually, suddenly? What happened? Mm -hmm. Uh, it were around 130, 130 to one thirty five. It was like that only, but I used to worry. Hinga pa mada do, yen mada do, gatak thella. Then uh, slowly after uh, attending LRR, uh, LRR live rapid revision, that uh, one subject, uh, one two rounds, mugud mele gradually it will uh, the scores will improve. Uh, we will be worried. Uh, that's actually normal process. We have to worry. Then only we'll improve. <laughs> that's good actually that is true so you know you need to have that little bit of uncertainty that should be happening so that you'll be will be constantly improving mm -hmm. so yeah you said the dvt improved your score significantly around yes. 18 20 marks uh, how do you rate the dvt what was uh, how was it different for you why why was it so important why it became so important kinds 
uh, it's like all 19 subjects uh, and some around 30 staffs coming together uh, in a seven days will finish entire revision and it's uh, like we'll interact with each other we'll answer to the staffs uh, it was a great experience actually sir okay so you know uh, those who are listening uh, to her do not miss out on dvt wherever you are so try to attend it offline uh, it is happening in around uh, eight centers all over the country and it's also happening online so you know the best will be always offline dvt offline. you can yeah. even attend online as well if you are unable to reach a nearest center okay so what was your notes what was your source uh, uh, did you have any other uh, notes or did uh, any time there was a fomo you know nowadays very students mm -hmm. commonly keep uh, telling me that sir i am uh, you know i am having developing fomo kind of a thing did this happen to you since you yes, said sir. you did not read any other source uh, apart from dams yes. notes so was there any time fomo happening and if it was then how did you cope actually uh, during my ug days i did not take any of the uh, applications apps uh, i read only entirely textbooks so i did not have any idea about the apps how like which is better uh, which uh, which for which faculties which we have uh, like uh, who are the best so uh, blindly i trusted dams and i joined uh, classes then after solving mcqs after solving papers actually my confidence went up like uh, till uh, last year uh, neat pg uh, i was like little in doubt what to do yena pa yen maartta idini gottilla ellaru because market olag eshtu idide sir and options ide yarigado doubt bande baruthe so we can keep it in uh, english because everybody is listening okay uh, yeah, yeah. yeah you can always uh, use kannada uh, in between but yes let's try to keep it in english uh, so that time like after i need bg like sub, uh, studying for about like five six subjects i got a uh, not that uh, good result but it was a decent rank expect, uh, as per my expectation then i blindly trusted dams i did not touch any other source okay uh, that's when uh, there was a doubt i would solve like telegram quiz or anything okay this so the are the ha so trust your source that is the most important thing that uh, yeah. you will take off and uh, what was your last year neat pg score uh, 40000 sir okay so 40, you have jumped from 40000 to rank double digit 74 that's that's a yes. huge yes. and a very significant leap that you have taken so like uh, uh, then uh, how did you uh, uh, do with lrs and how did they help you the live rapid revision that uh, mm -hmm. dams conducted uh i stick to my main notes only uh, whatever uh, the staff would tell in the lrr i would mark uh, in my main notes uh, i did not uh, jump into other again lrr notes only main notes then after dvt dvt notes okay so then usually uh, most of the students when i speak to them no they end up getting you know distracted post the classes are over like november december mm -hmm. once the classes are over how did you manage through that like uh, how did you stay on track uh, because you got such a good rank i'm sure that you have stayed on track or you had ups and downs in between and if uh, they were how did you manage them there were ups and downs sir like actually post classes we will feel distracted because there are 19 subjects we don't know from where to start where to start the revision or complete the inc incompleted ones so by december that's what i completed my incompleted stuff then by again jan uh, i started uh, with the lr so that uh, each subject it would get completed with the staff itself okay so what was your cbt did you give cbts how was the experience yeah. with the cbts and what ranks were you getting in cbts and all uh cbts were also very good uh, it's actually simulated actually this neat pg uh, almost it uh, similar kind of questions uh, and it also kills our anxiety or fear of that exam actually uh, uh i attended all the cbts uh, like four uh, neat uh, cbts and nine ics cbts rank were also like uh, 21 uh, then sometimes even i got eight rank and uh, seven good. rank so your actual neat pg rank uh, you know uh, is at par with the cbt rank that you have got that that means cbt is definitely one of the gold standards for yes. you know uh, mock exams uh, over the country because you got all double digit or single digit rank in your dvt and you got the same rank even in your uh, neat pg as well yes so what what do you want to pursue further 
so that is uh, next uh, thing about you <laughs> um most probably general medicine only sir but okay uh, still in doubt a little bit okay okay and um, uh, what would be your message uh, to you know all uh, the students who are studying uh, for the neat pg for this year uh, one i would like to request you one in english for uh, you know the whole of the country and one in kannada probably and also definitely for your juniors from your college i'm sure in your college also you would have been uh, you know the the best rank your college would have got i guess i, I do not know that but uh, for sure that is one of the best ranks that any colleges can be getting by the way so two messages one in english one in kannada if you want in your uh, i would like to tell uh, like you have to have that zeal within you to achieve your goal uh never uh, be like i'm getting low scores or this even i had actually uh, i was disappointed by i i me and i i actually had got uh, 576 rank people say it's a good rank but i was disappointed actually uh, so uh, somewhere like like take the seat hope uh, anyway it's a quite good rank you'll get aims but i was not that satisfied so that zeal within you should be uh, keep firing uh, you uh, to work and reach your goal uh, that's what uh, that's all like work hard keep uh, entire this one year only single goal that's all <laughs> okay that that's that's good anything you want to add in your mother tongue for your uh, juniors from your college and across karnataka students uh, hey enilla yadar one source idkondre adarna ashte trust maadi nambike irbek sir first ene idru nambike irbeku yav staff mel idru nambike irbeku patho lachi neevu ik sanjeev sir kalisidara andre sanjeev sir dashte notes nodbeku bere avaru nodidre its like confusion start agutte mind alli nan sari godidina illwa that's like nambike trust irbeku that is most important anta anusute nanage one year journey li okay so that's good congratulations again i'm sure your parents should be too proud of you and uh, you know they will be very happy lots of tears flowing probably at your home and uh, i as a teacher uh, i am also very proud of uh, whenever a students are going to do exceedingly well uh, i wish you all the best for your future endeavors and uh, yes of course we will have a career counseling for you as well uh, where in which subject etc uh, we will be helping you with that don't worry about it best wishes thank you so much sir yeah. actually i should thank entire dams team uh, to actually open this uh, hubli center so that we would have uh, live uh, classes which helped really very a uh, lot because uh, like online classes we cannot attend uh, so many hours of sitting online classes thank you so much sir okay i'll convey all your uh, regards to all the faculties in dams best wishes to supriya thank you so much sir. okay